to other matters now. Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu has appointed a five-judge bench to hear the cases and petitions filed in court on the advisory by Chief Justice David Maraga to President Uhuru Kenyatta to dissolve Parliament. Justice Weldon Korir had directed that the cases be referred to the Chief Justice to appoint judges who will hear them. And Maraga, being a respondent in a case, directed the Deputy Chief Justice to appoint the bench. After the Parliamentary Service Commission and two other Kenyans moved to the High Court to challenge the advisory by Chief Justice David Maraga to the President to dissolve Parliament, the judiciary through the Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu has appointed a five-judge bench to hear the case. The five judges are Lydia Achode, James Macau, Pauline Nyamwea, Anthony Ndongo and George Odunga. On September the 21st, Maraga advised President Uhuru Kenyatta to dissolve Parliament over its inability to pass the two-thirds gender rule over nine years. However, three days later, Justice Weldon Correll suspended Maraga's advisory pending hearing and determination of the Parliamentary Service Commission petition. According to the PSC, the advice to dissolve the August House was ill-advised, premature and unconstitutional and would plunge the country into a constitutional crisis. Elsewhere, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution has approved murder and assault charges against Malindi Member of Parliament Aisha Jumwa and her bodyguard Geoffrey Okuto regarding the killing of a man and injury of several people three days before the Ganda Ward by-election in Kilifi County last year. On the evening of Tuesday, October 14, 2019, Jumwa is said to have stormed an ODM agent's meeting at the home of its aspirant Ruben Katana, where a scuffle ensued and Katana's uncle Ngumbao Jola was shot. He later died upon arrival at Malindi General Hospital. The Malindi MP and her bodyguard are expected to be arraigned in court next Wednesday. For Channel 1 News, I'm Ben Troy